So this is the stock Harley Lowrider ST windscreen that comes stock when you buy the bike. It's about, I don't know, they say about four inches. And this is as useless as eating ice cream in the North Pole or finding a bag of uh, pecan nuts when you have no teeth. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Well, actually, it's not true. It's not really uh, pointless or useless. This can be good if you're uh, shorter than 4'11", uh, or a meter and a half, or if you will enjoy really having a wind on your face and bugs eaten up in, uh, <laughs> while you're riding. See, now, don't get me wrong. It's got killer looks. If you look at this on the profile of the bike with the fairing, it looks really, really good. But at any speed over 40, 50 miles per hour, there's zero wind protection and you get buffeting on your helmet. So immediately after getting, and that, that everybody that has the Lowrider ST will tell you that. This is looking really, really cool, really good, but does not serve any wind protection. Again, like I said, unless you really enjoy getting wind buffets on your helmet. Harley, when they launched actually the Lowrider ST, they came out also with a taller windscreen. They actually call it the tall. As you can see, they say it's 10 inches and it's, I don't know, maybe six, six inches taller. And it's so tall uh, that it's extremely effective, but you actually, it blocks your view. You actually see uh, ahead of you through the windshield itself. That's why the tint that they came up with is extremely light, light tint, pretty much see-through. So this, the 10 inch uh, that they came out with is very effective but it gives the bike a, uh, like a, an old man's bike a look. But I got this one and once I put this on, I was able to ride comfortably with great wind protection. And I heard the, the stereo, the Rockford Fosgate uh, volume, at highway speeds were able to hear it. Really good windshield. Like I said, again, the problem was it looks kind of a uh, old man's bike. Immediately after Harley comes out with a new model or new bike, the aftermarket starts going for the race to try and start develop new items, new products to fit the bike. And the uh, Lowrider ST, FXL RST is no exception. The, me the minute the bike was out, all the uh, aftermarket uh, companies were trying to get their hands on one and trying to get their hands on the items to try to make better or improved parts for the bike. One big thing was the windscreen. One of the bigger players in the uh, windscreen is uh, Clockworks. Clockworks were pretty much first ones to come out to the market trying to solve the windscreen issue. And they came up with a, a windscreen that is uh, about two inches taller over here. And it has their, uh, their known patented flare design, which throws, uh, that's what they claim, it throws the air two inches even higher than what the, the, the fairing itself would be. So if, I mean, if the windscreen is uh, six inches, uh, on there with their design and with that flare it throws it up as if it was an eight inch screen so it meant a significant and improved wind deflection from the harley stock i did not get that uh and from reviews before i got it from reviews that i've seen online it was much a big a very big improvement on the stock oem but it still gave some wind buffeting at highway speeds. Immediately, I know Clockworks was on the works to make uh, something uh, uh, bigger, taller, but still be uh, nicely designed. It's not only about function looking, uh, looking, uh, sorry, it's not only about, uh, you know, being effective. You also want to have a, a product that is also appealing and pretty. Then came uh, another company. I'm not sure exactly the timeline, but uh, Clearview Shields, and they came out with uh, their item, their product and they gave a, a variety of different heights, different uh, uh, how tall the windscreen is. And they also have somewhat of a, of a recurve. They call it a recurve because they can't use the name uh, flare. Uh, recurve, which also uh, throws the air a little bit higher as well. And I actually bought this and tried it out and can tell you that this worked great for me. It worked great and it replaced my tall, my Harley tall, which was, like I said before, was effective but it looked kind of uh, an old man's bike, like I said before. So the Clearview Shield worked for me. And they have different kinds of tints, different, uh, different heights. And I have a whole video of showing how I installed it. Their mounting system is a bit different. I would say not as, uh, not as appealing as Clockworks or the Harley one, but it's definitely effective. And then came Clockworks again with their newly designed windscreen. This time they went all the way up to 10 inches. It was the height of this that had a flare to it as well. And again, I did not try it out. 
Uh, it's the uh, Clockworks 10 inch from reviews I've seen online. People liked it, it was extremely effective. But again, it's that height. The 10 inch height was exactly in pe people's view. And they were complaining that uh, the top where there's the recurve or sorry, the flare, if they look through it, there's a somewhat of a distortion. I did not wait for it. I was waiting for the sweet spot. I needed Clockworks to come out with uh, a windscreen that would be as effective as the Harley 10 inch. And with their flare design, that meant it needed to be an eight inch screen with a flare because an eight inch with that flare, that flare gives you two more inches of a wind deflection. That would mean it would be equivalent to a 10. And the Harley 10 was very good, it was very good for me. So I needed the beautiful uh, looks for the Clockworks, which I love their design. I needed it to be an eight inch and it's finally here. It's on my bike currently installed. I'll show you now, I actually installed it yesterday and even took it out for a ride to test it out with the guys and uh, you know, take a look at yourself. Gonna install it now, very simple. Six bolts on and off, in and out. Bing bang, let me get the bike out. Take the bike out while there's still, still some light. There we go. Whoops, there you go. That's good. Now let me show you what I got. This windshield, let me put it, let me take you out of the, uh, the covering, the plastic, uh, the nylon covering, compare it, put one on top of the other so we can see the difference. That's the medium clear view shield right there in a light gray, I think it is. This is the Clockworks, Clockwork 8 inch, they call it, Clockwork eight now let me show you what it looks like from the side you can see that uh, the uh, clearview shields medium is about an inch and a half taller and it's a straight line all the way on the top and the clockworks flare has a certain design to it and at the, the top point the highest point it's about an inch and a half shorter from the side, you can see different, definitely. Let me show you the other side, how they flare differently, okay? I got this in uh, bronze, which is wicked. It's the same color of my rims and my exhaust. So it should be really cool. Uh -huh. You see this? This is actually nice. This is in bronze, as opposed to everybody else that makes it in, uh, in gray. And as you notice over here on the bottom, it's blacked out. Why? Because over here, as you recall on the fairing, on the ST fairing, there's this rubber gasket. When you put the, any other windshield on, it's actually visible. The Harley Toll, for example, which is very much completely clear, you can actually see this gasket. So this, the Clockworks flare, actually has that blacked out area, so you can't see that gasket. Six bolts. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Make sure to keep these two for last because they support the whole uh, windshield. So actually the clear view, they give you uh, the bolts, but here the bolts are uh, not Torx, they're Phillips, and they have a slightly different way of mounting. And it's off. This is what I mean, that gasket that can be seen when you put on a, a clear shield. It's visible. Let me show you one compared to the other. First of all, the tint. This is the bronze, the bronze tint. This is the gray tint. You can see the, the lip at the top. You can see the side. Slightly different profile. When you're installing the Clockworks, it comes with these, these holes, pretty much. And you need to take the stock Harley rubber grommets, take them out from the front, pushing backwards, just take them out like that. I took these, these six uh, grommets from the Harley Tall. This is the Harley Tall, I took it out. Now when you install it on the Clockworks, you do one at a time, obviously. You go from the back, forward, gently and carefully. These, these grommets are actually kind of sensitive and they might break if you force them in. But if you gently work them in properly, they will seat properly. Gently, don't use a knife or anything, just 
until it's seated properly. Be patient. Make sure the whole, the lip goes all the way through. And there you have it, you see? Like that, seated properly, huh? And how did I know how to do it? Because the clockworks actually, they give you this little manual and they show you how to, like how to put it in, jump in carefully, read it out. Obviously I didn't because I never read instructions and that's why half of the time I rip stuff, I, I break stuff and whatever. I'm done, I got all, all six of them nicely, nicely seated. And I just wanna point one thing out. The bolts that you use to put it on are the original, the OEM. Unfortunately, stupid me, I don't know where I misplaced them when I when I installed my previous windshield, this windshield, though. They use a different, they use different bolts. So I don't know where I put my Harley original. I'm gonna order them, but for now I'm just gonna use the bolts that I have. They don't fit exactly in. But for now, till I get my original ones, I'm gonna use that. Okay, let's put all the all the bolts in. Like I said, ignore the final look where it's a little bit protruding out. I'll get that once I get the bolts, I'll do it properly and I'll show you what it looks like. But let's look at the functionality of the windscreen for now. Okay, almost completely done. Till I, I get my parts from Harley, but I need this to hold so I can test it out tomorrow. The functionality of the windshield the windscreen in terms of wind protection and stuff like that. But for now, I just need to hold it in. And before we go to the ride, I want you to know that Clockworks did something really cool last year or two years ago. They came with uh, came out with an innovative uh, concept of coloring their uh, wind windscreens in different colors. They've got yellow, orange, purple, green, a lot of colors. I got one actually that would fit my rims, my fit my exhaust, pretty cool. Oh yeah, and uh, if you want like, you know, I have links down by the description if you're interested in exactly this uh, windscreen. See the ride and come back here to wrap up this video. Listen to that Star 3030 rumble. Huh? Nice, huh? Yeah, but this ride we're focusing on the windscreen, right?
bearing is really good. That's all I can say. It's staying. It's great. I love the tint. I love the design. Wind protection is beautiful. I'm going 70 now, 65 actually, and I there's zero, zero wind on my helmet, or at least I don't feel it. Very nice. Maybe it's the way they recurve even this design over here that it's a little bit taller over here, so it gives a taller bubble over your helmet, over the helmet area, who knows? But it, fe it feels great. Wind protection is very good on it. It's nice, huh? Let's see if they have my bolts. Good luck. Got one out of the six. This thing is four dollars. Four dollars a bolt. Four dollars for one bolt. One screw. They're ordering. It's back order. to do is get I ordered the five additional bolts from Harley it's back ordered so could you believe it four dollars for one bolt it's crazy yeah so that was yesterday's ride let me show you close up uh, the the three windscreens that you see right now each one of them has a slightly different profile the front the one on the front is actually the Harley stock it's at four inches then we've got the uh, medium by Clearview Shields and it's equivalent to an eight I would say maybe a nine inch then we've got the Harley Toll all the way in the back right there and the clockworks that currently that's currently installed on Gregos right there is the eight inch and the eight inch gets around about to here right here and there's a slightly different design on the top. As you've seen already, I have actually one bolt that is the proper bolt. Uh, five other bolts are coming from Harley right now. Okay, just for reference, I'm 5'10", 5'9 and a half, 5'10", and this is a perfect size for me. Like I've said before, I haven't tested any other clockworks. I've, I've heard online the six, for me, for my height, would be slightly too much wind in my face, and the 10 inch, that is even higher, would actually be slightly in my line of sight, and I want to be able to look just slightly above, uh, above the windshield. Clockworks. 8 inch in bronze. Check it out. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Wow.